Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, we're still in isolation down here in beautiful Victoria, but the sun's out. We can't go camping. So I thought what I'd do is I'll show you how I make a nice cup of coffee when I go camping. I have a couple of indulgences when I do have my coffee. I have choices. Normally I have a standard cherry ripe when I have a coffee. But I was in the survey today and they've got these awesome ones called Double Dipped. So I'm going to give these a go with my cup of coffee. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to grind ourselves up some beans. So let's go do that now. All right, guys, here we go. This is my little grinder. Now, I don't normally take uh, your standard coffee. I've got my fresh beans. Advantage of the beans is you can put in a nice steel container, have it in the back of your car, and it works really well. Now, this grinder here, believe it or not, it's cheap enough. You have a grind selector down the bottom there. I know you go, oh, why would you want a grind selector? Sometimes you want coarse, sometimes you want fine. To adjust that, all you do is you put the little doohickey on the top, hold that, and then just twist that around to whatever grind you want. It's at the grind I like anyway, so that's always good. All right, so what we'll do first, we'll just put it back together again, and we'll pop our fresh beans in the top. So how many do you use? Who knows, just as many as you want. I like fresh beans. Uh, my son gets me a good coffee. There we go. So you just pop that in there. Pop that on top. Reseal our beans. And it's pretty cool if you've got some small children with you when you go camping. You go, do us a favour, mate. Wind it up. And the kids always do. So what we do is we just suck up, grind up some beans and we'll just, off we go. It takes a while. Has a little window on the side here to tell you how much you got. So I'll just grind some beans and uh, we'll go from right. there. So we've been grinding for a while now. Not long, but a while. All right, so we're done. You can see in the window there that uh, we get our nice coffee. Can you see that there? Yeah, nice. That's really, that's a really fine grind in that one there. So yeah, that's ready to go. All right, so what we'll do now is we'll just uh, make us a coffee. Here we go, just add the water to the little doohickey down the bottom. There's a little brass valve on the side. Now this is a stainless steel one. This is my latest addition to my camping gear. I have had this one for a number of years. It's a ripper. Can't use it on an open fire though because it is aluminium and she will melt. This is stainless and it won't. So we'll just add it to the top and compress it down. All right guys, we've added it to the top nice and fine. We pack it down with just a little bottom bit there. Just screw the top on and then we'll put it on the gas. Here we go. Guys, just make sure when you do put the top on, you give it a nice, firm little twist to make sure she's ready to go. And uh, let's go and have some coffee. She's on. We'll just wait now for it to brew. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. It's just about ready. Just. Yep. You're just about ready to go, I reckon. Look at that. Yummy, yum, yum. All right. I'll give it a pour in a sec. Guys, we're ready to pour now. This is my little thermo mug. So, you, you know, you can hold it, it won't burn your hands. Only problem with these things, when it's cold, you don't get any warmth from it, but it keeps your coffee warm. All right, we'll have, we're gonna pour now. We're gonna have a, a short, or we can make it a long. Ah, uh -huh. it's all about me. Look at that, beautiful, mate. All right, we'll give that a go. I know it's gonna be good, but what we're gonna do first is we're gonna have some of this double dip cherry ripe. So I'm gonna give it a go, see what it's like any good or not you know double chocks not bad there's only one problem with it it's not as good as my mate's wife or partner Janine now she makes a ripper cherry ripe slice all right guys cheer hope you got a bit of info out of this cheers and we'll see you next time from sunny Melbourne bye